YouTube. So, um, excuse the noise. The puppy is not very happy about being in the crate right now. Anyways, uh, I'm in the process of taking my twist down, finger combing on, putting some conditioner on before I shampoo. Um, I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about some stuff that I'm wanting to do. Today I'm supposed to be trying to straighten my hair, um, but I don't know if I'll end up getting it all done. So I might end up waiting until tomorrow. But I gotta wash. I gotta wash, condition, protein treatment, then deep condition, then blow dry, then flat iron. Um, but I was wanting to say that before I start restart my logs, there's a few more things that I'm wanting to do. Like I want to do, um, I want to do a sew-in, like a real sew-in. I did it quickly the last time because I couldn't. My locks were too thick for me to do a sew-in. But y'all know that, so I want to do a sew-in and maybe leave it in for. I don't know how long, however long I feel like leaving it in until I get tired of it and want to take it down. Um, I was wanting to start my logs on my birthday. Let me get this, I'll be back. I'm back, sorry. Um, so I was saying I want to do a sew-in and I'm sure there's other styles that I want to do. Um, before I start my locks and I was wanting to start them on my birthday which is in October but I don't think I'll be able to get all of the stuff that I want to do with my hair out of my system by then so I'm thinking if I can't get this stuff done by October then I might wait until maybe next summer or next spring to restart them. I know I sound like a really confused child and I probably am. It's when it comes to my hair anyway. Um, but I just I guess in a way I don't want to limit myself to different experiences when it comes to my hair because I like changing it up and I like doing new things so I don't want to get my locks and have to commit to them for the rest of my life and then say well damn I didn't get to do XYZ with my hair before I started my locks then I'll regret it and I'll be wanting to cut my locks or comb them out just so I can do that one thing so I, I know it sounds stupid but that's just that's just how I am I'm, I'm weird like that but anyways that's all I really wanted to say um I ain't really got nothing else I'm hoping that this um this straightening thing goes well I'm gonna check my ends while I'm at it um maybe I can get a better uh a more precise trim on my ends because um, I haven't really I haven't really decided how often I want to trim my ends or how regularly I want to trim my ends but I do know that um, before I start my locks I want to make sure that my hair is in tip top shape and that I know how to take care of it and that I ain't got straggly looking ends because I don't like that like a, with some of my you can see it in the front on some of these on these two um with my two strand twist on the end if you look at them there aren't any um stray hairs or whatever I mean yeah there's stray hairs hanging off of them but as far as hairs like hanging down from the end of them there aren't any and I want that. I want to make sure that when I start my locks, there, my ends are clipped and that my hair stays in the twist and I don't have, I don't know, almost like I'm looking for neatness. 
I don't like those pointy ends. I like the the rounded, I guess, blunt ends what is what they call them. Um, and I know that if I was to leave these twists in, that's how those that or at least that twist, that's how those would turn out. So, um, that's really it. And I, I, I don't have much more to say, unless I need to get off here so I can get on the ball with all of this crap that I gotta do with my hair today. Um, I guess I will just see you guys in the next video. Um, I hope y'all ain't mad at me. Um, but thanks for watching. And, uh, if I do end up straightening my hair today, I'll come back on here and, and, and let you see how it turned out. Bye, bye, YouTube.